What if nobody watches this? And what if they all hate it? Or they yell at me, they critique it. It's a really exposed place to be. It's really vulnerable. I couldn't launch this for so long because I didn't have the time or the energy, the resources, because it was too vulnerable. It's a really tough place to be. It's hard work. And we, vulnerability is this thing that it creates all these monsters inside our brain that are so worried, they're huge, that we're worried about what other people are thinking of us. When the reality is, most of the time, other people are much more worried about what other people are thinking of them. And we're so stressed in that space, we think about it so much, we don't actually get a chance to connect because we're so worried about what they're going to think. As opposed to being able to come from a heartful place. And when I'm exposed, it gives others permissions to be exposed. And then we can really connect and find common ground and, and listen to each other. So I can have compassion for you if I can see that you're open to me. We shine a light in that space. We tend to find that those monsters are actually cute little kittens that just need to be held and loved, listened to. My policy is to be as authentic and transparent as possible. And then I can't really spend so much stress on what other people think. I'm doing the best I can. I hope that works. This is the upside. Like, subscribe, or share, or don't, or hate, or tell me everything. But I got to keep doing this.